Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Another gorgeous day here in Vallejo. Yay, nice and sunny. Just about ready to take Hudson for a walk, drinking some afternoon coffee, so, <laughs> which is a great segue for thank you uh, for the people that have sent cuppas and also for those that have sent money to the village. Uh, Georgia, uh, Denise, Heather, Evangeline, Marion, and Maria. Thank you so much. Also, I want to say thank you to everyone that has ordered a book uh, from my website. We have sold over 100 through the website. I have another 100 coming. Once that 100 is gone, I will probably do all sales through Amazon. So when you order uh, a book on my website, lauriemariejenkins.com, I sign it and I put a little dedication card in the book. So that makes it kind of special. Um, it's 20 bucks. You can go to PayPal, bam, right on my website, nice and easy. So thank you to everyone that has ordered uh, The Little Girl with Painted Hands. It's a great success, and I'm so happy with the book. All right, we're working in the board book. We're playing in the board book today, The Urban Decay. <laughs> I was going to call it Urban Entertainment because I wasn't quite sure I was going to go with all decay. Uh, but I am going with all decay. <laughs> so we have one, two, three. This is our fourth page in the board book, uh, The Urban Decay. So hope you enjoy it. I'm having fun. Uh, it's a little bit of a challenge. I do one building at a time, uh, changing the shingles or whatever, the keep out signs and um, barbed wire and loose wires. and It's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Kind of like uh, paper dolls, only it's houses. They're all different. All right, I think that's it from me. Thank you for all those that send cuppas. Uh, there's a link if you want to send some money to the village. Uh, buy, me a, buy me a coffee is what it's called. Thank you for all of you that use my Amazon links to purchase your supplies. Uh, I get a little bit of credit for that. Helps with the supplies uh, for the village. Uh, thank you to those that have taken the classes. I do have unsupervised classes available on the website that is up and running for a few classes. Uh, pretty exciting. The Shrine, the um, Spirit Doll, and I'm working on the uh, Fabric book, having an unsupervised class for the, um, for the Fabric Altar book, which has been so much fun. All right, I will be teaching in the fall. Uh, I'm going to take the summer off. So unsupervised might be fun. Also, these uh, free content videos are always yours as well. All right, sounds like I don't even need coffee today. <laughs> okay, see you on the table. Okay, I did not clean up my workspace. My workspace is about this big right now. <laughs> but I have been playing in our Urban Decay. This is kind of overgrown, which is fun. Uh, keep out, keep out. Fun shingles. I had so much fun. This is brown paper bag. Uh, sewn, folded, sewn. Uh, some silver construction paper, probably. Um, this is my LMJ, 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 LMJ. That's my graffiti. <laughs> I know, pretty original. Uh, fun piece. And bring in a some gesso and a dry brush. I 
and let that dry. All right, I took it to the sewing machine and I sewed down the shingles. Cut those right up the middle. And I'm gonna make some more. Those are way fun. All right, I have these delicious shingles. I'm gonna bring in some peeled paint. That sounds appropriate. Oh yeah. Run it down the shingles. I'm gonna put the shingles on the house first and then the roof. All right, I have the shingles on that house. How fun was that? Bringing in wild honey, adding another layer of color. So brown paper bag, a little bit of gesso, peeled paint, which was the green, and now a little bit of wild honey. Bring in a piece of black corrugated cardboard, which is delicious. I think actually it was some scrapbooking paper. Glue the door down, or the blocked door. This is a little piece that I cut off the top. To make it fit better, I'm going to write keep out on here. Orange that up a little bit with the brown timber stays on and glue that on there. Bring in some sandpaper, rough that door up a little bit because it looks pretty new. I'm taking the sandpaper to the shingles, rough them up a little bit so they don't look real new either. I want them kind of worn with time. Bring in my Stabilo. I feel like it needs a window blocked up on top. Some more of that corrugated black. Rough that up a little bit with sandpaper. A little stabilo around there. Very fun. I'm gonna draw a line down this building. in some burnt sienna and paint the center building. Black gesso on the tall building. And let that dry. Bring in some sandpaper, rough these two buildings up.
So I have this rubber stamp, stays on, put it on a piece of acetate, got to shine, so, sorry, put it on a piece of acetate, cut that to size. Tacky glue that into place. This is, I'm working on the back of the window. Glue a couple pieces of book text together. And that will go on the inside of that window. Bring in a couple pieces of that wood grain cardboard. Board up that window. piece of cardboard that has been stripped. Cover up that door with that. And I'm going to put little bits of paper, torn paper, on that door. Bring in my Stabilo, smudge up some places. Bring in my stays on and this fun fence stamp. Bring in lots of plants. Glue those down with some tacky glue. I brought the fence up a little higher. Tacky glue and plants.
I ended up putting a bunch of Mod Podge on there. See if I can keep those leaves down. They do not want to stay down. Put a raggedy piece of fabric down here. I have this fun silver paper. Cut some circles in there. Bring in some magenta and a makeup sponge. And I believe this might be Seth Apter's stencil. Get some splatters on this building. Bring in the sandpaper, scuff that silver up a little bit. I put some string on the top, like some loose wires up here. Your turn. Go create, go play, go have fun in some urban decay. <laughs>